Elliot. Hey, so Gina, um, Elliot, today we're going to do some re rehearsal today. Just stop talking what? for a second. What? You have to take turns. It's called a conversation. Oh, okay. That's better. Okay, now what did you want? We're going to do um, rehearsal today at Molly's basement. Okay, rehearsal. Yeah. 10 o'clock today? Yeah. What time is it? 9.30. Okay, that sounds great. Where again? Molly's basement. Molly's basement, okay. What about Molly's parents? They're at work today. Okay, did you pick out a good song? Oh yeah, I'm so excited about it. It's just going to be the greatest ever, and I know you okay. guys are going to okay, rock great. it. And okay, great. So, what? But, uh, Violet and I will be there, okay? Okay, sounds All great. Right. Bye, Elliot. Right, bye. Bye, Gina. Okay, so now I need to talk um, to... Elliot, this is the part where you hang up. Huh? You have to, you have to hang up the phone. Oh, oh, okay, bye. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah? Yeah, okay. 10 o'clock, Molly's basement. No problem, though. I'll be there. What? Oh, we'll do fine. Hey, with me in the choir, I guarantee we'll win that prize. Ow! Hey, Elliot, you do not yell hooray into a telephone. Got it? You're buying Dad a new coat? I want to keep it a secret. You're buying Dad a new coat? How are you going to afford that? Right now, Mom and Dad together couldn't afford that. Well, the girls and I are going to win enough money to buy it today at 5 o'clock. Win it? We've entered in the Christmas Eve talent competition at the mall today. <laughs> Molly, there's a difference between sounds crazy and is crazy. I know, Louisa, believe me, I've told myself a hundred times, but I mean, even if we don't win, I have to try. I guess that makes sense. And uh, you've got to be kidding me, kind of way. Where did you get the idea to win him a present the day before Christmas? You might want to sit down. Oh, I'll stand. Elliot, come in, please. Elliot? What's an Elliot? Louisa? This is Elliot. Hi. Hello. Nice uh, fashion sense. So who is this Elliot? Well, before I tell you what he is... I'm an elf! An elf! And I'm the Grinch who stole Christmas. You've got an imagination, kid. Louisa, forget about that. The point is, Elliot is going to help us rehearse and hopefully win the competition. But we need you to drive us to the mall. Please, Louisa. So, how does Rudolph sleep with that light on all the time? Louisa! Fine, fine. Getting in trouble is my favorite pastime anyway. Thanks, Louisa. Gina, Violet! Gina, Violet! Zach, lunch is ready and I can't find the girls anywhere. I let them go over to the Macarelli's house a couple of hours ago. Oh, well, I'll go get them. I don't want them to miss out on the snowman sandwiches. Snowman sandwiches? Uh-huh, with little olives for buttons and real carrots for the noses. Awesome! Hey, don't go just yet. I want to get a picture of those. Oh, you'll want to have the chef in the picture. I'm going back over to Molly's house. See you, Dad. See you, twerp. See you, honey. See you, twerp. Good job, Billy. I should have bought you a toolkit for your stocking tomorrow. I don't know, Dad. This handyman stuff just isn't my thing. Let me give you some man-to-man -man advice about repair work. What? Well, the most important thing is, never ask your mother. You'll ask her to drive a nail and she'll be like, Where's the steering wheel? Uh, I'm in trouble, Lord Ty. Cut! Something's missing. Dad is missing. She's in the bathroom. No, it's something else. Something else. Ooh, I have an idea that Beth can help with when she gets back. Elliot, are you sure you know what you're doing? Trust me, please, Molly. I know music. I was actually the conductor of the Elf Choir when we won the North Pole Championship back in 86. Um, 1986? No, just 86. Guys, guys, Mom's back. Me back here when the coast is clear. Scatter! In different directions! An elf? Yeah, an elf. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, Billy. And he wants me to do what? <sighs> he wants me to ask you to help us add more voices to sing in the talent competition today. Why? Because he says we need to add more voices if we want to act to be good enough to win for Molly. No, I mean, why should I help you? 
Because if you don't, because it will really help Molly's dad, and we need you, and I'm asking if you'll help. Please. Sure, I'll help. Wow, look at you. You learned a new word today. You're taking the kids shopping now? It's Christmas Eve. The stores will close soon. I know. That's why we have to go now. Your mother will have dinner ready in an hour, though. Molly just has one more thing to buy. She does? Um, didn't she finish her shopping yesterday? She just says one more thing. Well, what about the other girls? They got permission. You know those girls, best of friends. That doesn't explain why you said Billy Parker and his pals are going. Isn't it obvious? Bev is going, so Billy's going so he can spend more time with his sister. We're talking about the same Billy and Bev here, right? <laughs> so can I take the van? Maybe we should let them go, huh? I don't know, Louisa. I don't want you losing anybody in a crowded mall. It's okay. I can handle a few kids in and out. So, I can handle a few kids and myself. <laughs> what do you think, David? Fine, fine. You can go. But be back for dinner in one hour. No worries. We'll be back in time to set the table. So, no need to worry. Billy and Beth? <laughs> it could happen. Sure. It could happen. Oh, look! Pigs! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for Lily Rossi with her carol medley. And now, we come to the final act in our talent competition. For our final act, singing a new Christmas carol, we have a new group called the Sycamore Lane Singers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Sycamore Lane Singers. Ting-a-ling, 
ring-a-ling, ting-ting, ting-ting-a-ling. Long ago in Bethlehem ago. was the night that we remember. It will last until the end of time. It will last until the end of time. So we praise that holy so day and begin the celebration day. when we hear that old familiar chime. It's the Christmas bells that ring. It's the Christmas hearts that sing. It's the Christmas joy they bring to everyone. The sound is loud and free. You can always guarantee that another Christmas season has begun. It's the Christmas bell. When you hear the Christmas bell. It's the Christmas bell. back on stage so the judges can render their decision. Judges, have you made your decision? Thank you. Very exciting. Okay, our third prize, a coupon worth $10 at Dandy Randy's Candy Store, goes to Katie Moore and her color guard dance of the Nutcracker. Yes. And our second prize, a coupon for free hairstyling and manicure from Shake Your Beauty goes to Uke Skywalker and the Cantina Band. <laughs> and finally, our grand prize, a $500 gift card good at any store in the mall. May I have a drum roll, please? The Sycamore Line Singers! And now for your part for the delicate card. Things didn't work out. Thanks. I owe you guys. Come on, Molly. We better get home. Come on, I'm guys. coming. Attention, shoppers. Attention. The mall is now closed. Attention, shoppers. Attention. The mall is now closed. Have a Merry Christmas. 
I just can't believe this, girls. I can't believe this. Sorry, Dad. We tried to get back on time, but... Louisa, as the adult, you were supposed to be back when I told you to be back. I mean, I'm sure there was traffic. There was. But you knew there would be traffic. What time did you leave the mall? Well, um... It's not her fault, Dad. It's mine. I wanted to buy something and everyone was waiting for me. And then the mall closed and it was too late. Molly, that is very irresponsible of you. You've gotten all the kids in trouble with their parents. You had us worried, for God's sake. What was so important that you had to buy? It doesn't matter anymore, Dad. Both of you, both of you need to go to your rooms now. But Dad... Now! Please. Look, I don't like punishing them on Chris. I don't like punishing them. You're going to say Christmas Eve. It doesn't matter what I was going to say. When they do something wrong, they have to be reprimanded. I agree. But maybe this time of year, you can try to be a little bit more understanding. <laughs> Diane, when it comes down to it, this time of year is just like any other. You've changed, David. You've always enjoyed Christmas. You've always loved Christmas. You've always loved putting up the lights and picking out a tree and singing carols and... And this year, you're acting like you don't even care if we celebrate. Maybe I don't. David, I have been very patient. I have sat by day after day. I've said very little. I've been waiting for the real David to return. I expected him to be here by now. It is Christmas Eve. It's hard to love Christmas when you can't afford to. David, I know it's been a difficult year for us. Scraping to save every penny and having to cut back on presents, but that doesn't make it not Christmas. Tomorrow is still the 25th. Must I remind you of the whole Bethlehem story again? I don't need a tree or lights or presents or a motion-activated Santa Claus that does the Macarena. We can celebrate without those things. But we can't celebrate without Christmas spirit. Those things are fun and they add to the joy of the holiday. Well, maybe not the Santa Claus doing the Macarena, but they mean nothing unless you've got that spirit in you. They don't substitute Christmas spirit, they come from it. And when this time of year fills you with such joy, with such exhilaration, such happiness, you just wanna be nice to everyone, to your friends, to your family, to strangers at the mall, to the poor and the homeless. That is what Christmas is all about. And who knows? Maybe you'll find it's not all that hard to feel that way the rest of the year. David, don't make me sit on your foot. No, Diane. Look, I know what you're saying, but I just, I can't feel that way. Every year I've been able to give my family a big, Beautiful Christmas, and this year all I feel is frustration. Then make yourself feel that way. Put aside the frustration for another day. Focus on the good and be happy, even if it's difficult. Christmas is all about sacrifice. I thought it was all about generosity. Generosity is a sacrifice. Look, tomorrow's Christmas, and you know the kids will be up at the crack of dawn. What do you say we do the dishes, we get some sleep, and just maybe we can be up when they are? Um, yeah, I, 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 I need to think. I'm gonna go uh, take a walk. Now? Yeah, yeah, you just go into bed. Please be all right, David. You need me now more than ever. All I want this year is for you to Please, just find some Christmas spirit in you. I know you haven't lost it. Just, you just need to rediscover it. That's all. Please. Molly, it's me. Come in, Louisa. Hey. Hi. So, 
Any news from the elf? Nope. Haven't heard from him since we lost him at the mall. He's fine. He knows how to take the bus. He's probably just out in the shed anyways. Who cares? He's probably not even a real elf. I thought you believed him. Thought you didn't. Nah, who knows? I believe in wishes. I believe in ghosts. And I believe Harry Potter will return someday. So why not elves? Still mad at him? Aren't you? It's almost Christmas. And I'm short. One present. I got Dad a book. But say I put your name on it too. You know he'll like that. Sure. I guess I just got obsessed with this whole thing. I thought that maybe a big, fantastic present from his youngest daughter would mean something extra special, you know? Maybe put him in the Christmas spirit? Snap him out of this depression he's in? Our family's had hard times before, and we always bounce back. Besides, we know it's not the size of the gift that matters, it's how much love went into it. That's what Gina said. I guess I should have listened to her. Still, it would have been nice, and I came so close. It was kind of a grand adventure, and anyway, you sure put a lot of love into trying. You okay? Get some sleep. A visit from Santa will fix anything. Will fix anything? Oh my gosh, this is just too crazy. What am I thinking? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Molly! You're real. You're real. Oh, Santa! Oh, Molly, what's the matter? You seem to be crying. Please help me. Please help my daddy. Your daddy? Well, dad's been so upset since he lost his job last year. He doesn't care about Christmas. Well, he doesn't care about anything. I wanted so much to buy him a new coat to put him in the Christmas spirit, but I didn't have enough money. So yesterday, we pulled everything we had together to enter the contest at the mall to win enough money. But I got in trouble with Mr. and Mrs. Parker, and it only got my dad upset with me. And then today, we went back and we won the contest, but we lost the money, and it only got my dad upset again. And now it's too late to buy him anything, so I thought that if Elliot was right and you were real, maybe you could help me? Please, Santa, could you bring my dad a new coat for Christmas? more than anything in the world. I want to see him happy again. Daddy, what? I borrowed this thing from Zach Rush. It worked for his family last year, so I thought maybe it was my last shot at giving you guys a beautiful Christmas. Molly, I'm so sorry. Your mom convinced me how wrong I was. I was so caught up in my own feelings that I didn't realize I was hurting those around me. Dad, it's all right. No, it's, it's really not. But that stops as of right now. I've got my family and that's what matters, don't you think? David, is this because of that speech I gave you? 18 years of marriage and you're still always right. <laughs> um, excuse me? Uh, sorry to interrupt, Elliot. Um, good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Maccarelli. It's nice to finally meet you. Molly told me a lot about you. Nice suit, by the way. Uh, thanks. Um, I borrowed it. I'm sorry, who are you? Dad, Mom, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. Elliot's a friend. An elf. An, An elf? elf? <laughs> it's true. Santa sent me to help Molly, but I kept bungling up the job and getting her into trouble. Now, Elliot. I really did, and I even cost you your chance to buy your father a new coat. So I'm hoping this will make amends. Well, Elliot, this isn't necessary. I'm giving it to you to give to your father. Nice bow. <laughs> My specialty. It's a scarf. It's Beautiful. Oh my god, look, it's even Italian. Wait a minute. Where did you... Thank you. Both of you. I can really use this. 
I'm sorry there was only enough material for a scarf. You made this just since we got back from the mall? It's like doll clothing, but only bigger. <laughs> what was that? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! Does this mirror make me look thin? Merry Christmas, Macarelli family. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I can't believe it. You're really Chris Kringle? That's what it says on my senior citizen discount card. So you're really an elf. Elliot, there you are. Come here, mister. Congratulations, you did it. I, I did? You certainly did. Your gift showed, un, showed unselfishness and generosity. I think you finally have the Christmas spirit. You really mean it? Never doubted it for a minute. Molly, you're not gonna believe this. There's all these reindeer on your roof and a big red sleigh, you know? Merry Christmas, Tina. Merry Christmas, sir. Look, Violet, it's really him. It's really him. Fascinating. Santa Claus, may I please have your autograph? <laughs> it's really him, honey. It's really Santa Claus. Well, I can see that, Randall. Who else would it be? Little Red Riding Hood. Now, I have a lot of presents to deliver tonight, but since I'm here, I'll save myself a trip. Violet, here's one for you. Here's one for Zach. Here's one for Gina. And let's not forget Trudy. You all have been very good, and I really love the dancing Santa on the back deck. Bev and Billy, you two are really beginning to try my patience. See, kids, Santa really is watching. Well, what are you so smug about? They get it from you. Me? It's you and your obnoxious side of the family they take after. My side of the family? Need I remind you the last time your folks came to visit and all they did was just... And then again, I can see why they fight, can't I? And as for you folks, I had tried to think about a good present for you. David, I was going to get you a coat, but... That, that doesn't really matter anymore. That's what I figured. And then it occurred to me. The perfect gift for your family. David, it's beautiful! It's bigger than ours. Ow! Thank you, Santa. This is exactly what we needed to have a Merry Christmas. Well, Elliot, time to go. We have a big agenda tonight. By all means, sir, but... May I have a minute? Yes, you may. Thank you. I guess this is goodbye. I just wanted to thank you all for everything. I don't think it would have gotten to this point if it weren't for all of you. Goodbye, Beverly. Take care of yourself, Squirt. Oh, I'll miss you, Violet. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. Goodbye, Gina. Bye, Elliot. And Molly. I know I've made a lot of mistakes and I don't deserve your forgiveness, but I hope someday you can maybe find some. Merry Christmas, Elliot. Merry Christmas, Molly. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everybody! Every year at Christmas time, you can hear the church bells chiming from the steeples everywhere you go. Ring a ling, ting, 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 ting a ling. It's a song for all the ling, ting, ting, ting. Wow.
Christmas.